Here is a quick video covering the functionality of the Layer Brush Depth plugin for ZBrush. After you have the plugin installed and you launch ZBrush, it will be located in the Z Plugin tab and then in the Layer Brush Depth area. In here you'll find the buttons that will control this plugin. Now I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm just going to dock the Z Plugin palette to the side here by clicking this little icon here. And that is now going to take the Z Plugin palette and move it over here to the left hand tray. Now the Layer Brush Depth plugin for ZBrush will allow you to take a brush with the base type of single layer and then you can set a specific depth and then you can now sculpt on your model and cut in or add at that specific depth. So as an example of this, we first just need to load in a file that has some scale to it. So I'm going to press comma on my keyboard or click this lightbox button here to open up lightbox. And then in here I'm going to navigate to the project area and then I'm going to go to the Wacom folder here, and now I want to select the Wacom Intuos pen holder ZPR. And I just want to double click this to load that project in. Now this file has already been set with specific scale. So in order to use the layer brush depth, you want to make sure that your model is not tiny, because the draw size is going to determine how deep you can actually cut into the model. So if you have a really tiny draw size, you won't be able to cut in as far as if you have a large draw size. So to see what the scale of this model is, I'm just going to come over to the Scale Master plugin here and open this up. And then in here, I'm going to make sure I'm in the millimeter slider here, and I'm just going to click Sliders to Subtool Size. So you'll see that this pen holder here has a millimeter value of 46 by 54 by 46. So it's got some size dimensions to it. And a model with size, like the one here, will work the best when using the Layer Brush Depth plugin. After I have a model loaded in that has a size, I'm now going to come over here to the Brush Palette, and now I want to select a brush with the base type of single layer. So I'm going to click on this here to open this up. And now I want to locate the Layer Brush. So if I hover over the Layer Brush, you're going to see that when you hover over it, it's going to tell you that the base type is single layer. So this brush will work with the Layer Brush Depth plugin. And also, brushes like the chisel brush will work as well. So for the example here, I'm just going to select the layer brush and load that in. And now I'll have that layer brush selected, and you can see that its base type is single layer. Now with this brush selected, let's say I want to carve into the top of my subtool here. So I'm going to come up here and decrease my draw size a little bit. And then let's say I want to carve in at a desired depth of, say, 2 millimeters. So I'm going to come over here and type in 2 and then hit Enter. After I have this selected, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click the Set Layer Brush Depth. After you click this, you'll see that I'm going to get a little dialog that's going to pop up that's telling me that the Layer Brush Depth has been set. And you'll see that my intensity value has been changed. So if I now come across the model and simply sculpt, I'm now going to generate a sculpt on the model at that 2 millimeter depth. And now I can come in and cut or add to the surface of the model, and it's going to cut in at 2 millimeters or add at 2 millimeters. Now let's say I want to do the same effect, but I want to do it with a larger draw size. So I'm going to undo my sculpt there. I'm going to come up here and adjust my brush to make it a little bit bigger. And after you change your draw size, you want to now rerun the set layer brush depth. So coming over here and clicking this, we'll now set the layer brush depth again. You'll see that my Z intensity value has changed, and now I'll be able to come across the model and sculpt now with a larger brush at that specific depth. Now the draw size and the intensity will work together in generating the specific depth that you can sculpt on your model. So if you use a very small draw size, you may not be able to achieve a large depth. So as an example of this, if I set my draw size to say 10 or 11, and then come over here and set my desired depth to say 6, and now if I run the set layer brush depth, I'm going to get a little dialog that's going to pop up. Now this dialog is going to tell me that the desired depth could not be reached with the current draw size. So the draw size needs to be at least 62 for this model. So do I want to increase the draw size to 62 in order to get that desired depth of 6 millimeters? So if we click OK here, you'll see that the draw size is going to change to 62, and now I'll be able to sculpt into my model at that desired depth of 6 millimeters. So now with this draw size, you'll see the intensity has been maxed out to 99, and now if I draw on the surface, I'm now getting that 6 millimeter depth. Now also, there's some other options here, so I can revert the settings back to the originals before I clicked the set layer brush for the first time. So if I click this button here, you'll see that my draw size is going to go back to 22, and my Z intensity will go to 20. 
I can also see what the current brush will give me in terms of depth by clicking this button here. So at a draw size of 22 and a Z intensity of 20, if I click Get Current Layer Brush Depth, you'll see that I'm going to get a layer brush depth of 0.09 millimeters. And if I did not have the alpha loaded, it would be at 0.12 millimeters. So you can use this button here after setting a specific draw size and a Z intensity to see what your depth would be on your model. Now, as we mentioned at the start, this model had a specific scale to it. So let's try using another model that doesn't have a scale set. So I'm gonna press comma on my keyboard here to go back into Lightbox. I'm gonna click on the project tab again, and now I'm gonna select the demo anime head. Now this project does not have a specific scale. So if I come over here to Scale Master and click Sliders to Subtool Size, you can see that this model is very small. So it's 1.4 by 2 by 1.4 millimeters. So if I was to come over here and try to get a desired depth of 2 millimeters, and now click Set Layer Brush Depth, you'll see that I'm going to need a draw size of at least 1400 for this model. So if your model is really tiny in terms of scale inside a ZBrush, you will not be able to reach a desired depth without using an extremely large draw size. So for the anime head here, I would need a draw size of at least 1400 to get that desired depth of two millimeters. So I'm gonna hit cancel on this. And if I wanted to use the anime head here, I would just need to use Scale Master to come through and set a size for the head. And then I'd be able to use the layer brush depth plugin. So let's say with the anime head here, I wanted to be probably two inches from top to bottom. I come over here and click set scene scale. In here, I can choose the option of inches right here for 1.42 by 2 by 1.46. This will now resize the anime head to be that specific scale. And now if I come over here and click on millimeters and do sliders to subtool size again, you'll see now the head is no longer that 1.4 millimeters, but it's now coming in at 36 by 50 by 36 millimeters. And now if I want to set the layer brush depth now, and get that desired two millimeter carve. I can now click this. You'll see that now I just need a draw size of at least 56 to reach that desired two millimeter depth. So I can click OK to that. It's gonna set my draw size there. And now I can come through and sculpt into the model or add, and it's going to be done at that two millimeter depth. So that is the quick rundown of the layer brush depth plugin for ZBrush. This plugin can be downloaded from the PixLogic Download Center. I hope that helps, and happy ZBrushing!